Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fortech. So I created some of videos for the unlocking bootloader flashing TWRP and custom ROM for the OnePlus 9RT. But if someone wants to relock the bootloader and restore original Oxonus firmware with the stock recovery, you must watch this video. This is also necessary before upgrading to Oxonus 12 beta updates. In the old video I just mentioned the fastboot method to restore the firmware but did not create any video until now. So today I will show you how to relock the bootloader of OnePlus 9RT and get back your original recovery with the stock Oxonos firmware. Here I am on Oxonos 11 A10 version and restoring and locking the Oxonos A07 using the fastboot firmware. Till the date only A04 to A08 fastboot firmwares are available by the developers but you can later upgrade your firmware to the latest OT update of A10. This method can also be used for solving the issues like boot loop and the soft brick OnePlus 9RT. So now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. This process will wipe the full data so keep the full backup. Before proceeding, you need to enable the developer option by tapping 8 times on your build number which is available under the about phone and the version tab. Now developer setting was available in the additional setting. There enable the USB debugging and if you are already unlocked you can see the OEM unlock option is grayed off and saying you are unlocked. Now download the full firmware zip file from the link given under the video description. Here you will find the firmware from the A08 to A04. These are only Indian firmware so no Chinese colorless firmware are included here. After download extract the firmware in the separate folder on the PC. Now power up the device and then long press the volume up plus down plus power button at the same time and phone reboots. When you see the fastboot mode immediately leave all the buttons. So we are in a fastboot mode now connect phone to the PC and head over the folder where you place the extractive firmware zip. Remember all the latest fastboot and ADB platform tool drivers must be installed on your PC before start of the process. I extracted A07 firmware zip file and here I got this folder containing all the flash files. Now scroll down and you will see the install.fat file. Double click on it and as soon as you click separate CMD window will open and start the flashing process. All the flashing process may take 15 to 20 minutes. While flashing, your device may boot into the fast boot D mode. Don't disturb the phone while flashing process until you get the notification showing finish and the rebooting to the system. Now you'll see the phone is rebooted, so remove the cable and when you see the setup screen, then power up the device again. Remember, don't let the device boot to the home screen because you need to lock the bootloader after flashing the stock firmware. Now by pressing all the buttons, volume up plus down plus power button, boot your phone in a fast boot mode and connect it to the PC again. Open any CMD window anywhere on the PC. Now type fast boot devices to check the device is properly connected or not. Now type fast boot flashing lock. On the phone, you get the prompt saying do not lock the bootloader and another one is lock the bootloader. Select the lock bootloader by pressing volume up down buttons and then press the power button. Phone will start with the wiping process and boots to the stock Oxonos firmware that you restored. So here you can see I am on the Oxonos 11 A07 now. In this way we restored the stock firmware but to check if you are locked or the not. Then power up the device again. Similarly do the same thing like press volume up plus down plus power button to boot in a fast boot mode. Here you can see the bootloader is locked now. You can also check the stock recovery also use the volume up and down buttons to select the recovery option in a fast boot mode. Now press the power button to boot into the recovery. So we are booted with the stock recovery. In this way you can lock the bootloader and restore the stock firmware to recover the device from the boot loop mode. So that's it guys for today. If you think I help you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.